I come from a town called Allahabad. I moved to Bombay back in 88 to do my business studies here. I graduated uh, from Sydenham and since then I have worked with two organizations. Started my career with the Taj Group of Hotels where I was marketing manager for South Asia. And then I uh, worked for about four and a half years with a local investment banking firm called Prime Securities till I started Hungama back in uh, mid-99. The company is Virtual Marketing India Private Limited. These are different brands and, and media properties that we have within them. Uh, uh, Hungama.com is what we started off with. It was essentially uh, meant to be a promotions website wherein there was engagement. Uh, and over the years, it has evolved into more of an entertainment portal with music, with trivia, with Hollywood, etc., etc., that we've done. Uh, IndiaFM.com is a site that we acquired in early 2000. Uh, the two co-founders of the site were Salim and Suleiman Mobani, uh, who continue to be with the company and are part of the management team of the company. Uh, IndiaFM is today uh, undoubtedly the number one Bollywood portal in the world, uh, being accessed by over 120 countries. And we get, you know, we do almost about eight and a half, nine million visitors on a monthly basis on that portal. Uh, as a site, uh, we do about 25 stories on Indian entertainment on a daily basis. And the site has its own set of alliances with all the global majors who take content from it. Uh, GamingHangama.com is uh, a site which has been recently started uh, about a few months ago. Uh, as a company within Hangama.com itself, we had done over 350 games, uh, largely casual games, uh, and we started seeing the advent of uh, the gaming culture emerging in India. So Gaming Hangama was introduced as the first multiplayer gaming portal into the country, uh, primarily driven by a set of games that our developers and gamers did. Uh, and uh, since then, we are now in the process of building the community on that portal and it will engage and morph into a lot more uh, beyond basic casual gaming which is prevalent uh, currently on the site. Sangama has grown from a three-member uh, company back in 99 to about 260 people in the company right now. Uh, I would say that there are three, four areas which are uh, what we would like to call as our strengths. Uh, the fact is that you know we have had the privilege of working with 300 brands, which makes us, uh, we've done over 1,000 campaigns on the online space, we've done over 600 mobile marketing campaigns, uh, and that gives us tremendous amount of an edge from a you know, marketing perspective of understanding consumers, because we've worked with different types of brands uh, all across approximately 20 industries. Uh, the second component is that there has been a strong connect to the entertainment industry, almost anything that we have done. Uh, from the acquisition of India FM to uh, Hangama.com itself, which is an entertainment portal, to different facets of entertainment, uh, be it mobile entertainment, be it gaming, uh, be it Bollywood, Hollywood, different facets of that. And I think uh, the digital era as we see it right now, uh, one of the biggest sort of convergence opportunities that's happening is centered around the entertainment space. And to that extent, we find ourselves fairly interestingly positioned uh, to capture this opportunity. And that's also something that we have been looking at building in the international markets, and I'll talk to you about that a little bit uh, later. The third fact uh, about the company is that uh, we're still the same set of people that we were back in 99. You know, uh, so we've seen uh, uh, some ups, lots of downs, uh, you know, uh, first one year of complete euphoria where uh, most of us were made uh, into poster boy heroes uh, during the whole dot-com boom as it were, uh, to, you know, the dot-com word itself becoming a dirty word and, uh, you know, sort of complete uh, negligence and, 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 and an entire rejection from uh, uh, every part of uh, or all the stakeholders as it were. And that was a gap of about four, four and a half years. Uh, to this sort of, you know, resurrection and resurgence uh, of the digital medium in which mobile has played a very crucial role as well, which really started, you know, towards 2005 and is now sort of gaining more and more momentum. And I think during this period, uh, one of the key things that has happened as far as our company is concerned is that, you know, we've kind of stayed together. You know, we've, we've uh, been through the thick and thin as it were 
and uh, have seen more bad days than good. And I think that, uh, to me, is is something that we cherish a lot and uh, will certainly hold us in good stead, you know, in the coming months and years ahead. Well, we have a lot of partners uh, right now in the international markets. Uh, uh, one of our biggest partners is Sony Pictures International. Uh, we started a partnership with them, uh, I think, back in August uh, or September last year. Uh, for South Asia as a market, we represent them for their entire catalog of 21 James Bond films, the whole Spider-Man trilogy, almost about 40 films uh, that they have. They liked the work that we were doing, and that partnership then got extended to 21 countries. So today we represent Sony Pictures International for 21 countries. Uh, we are partners to Warner, Warner Brothers for certain parts of their content in this market. Uh, uh, we have a partnership with companies like Fashion TV out of France. Uh, in the domestic market, uh, totally actually we have over about 220 uh, partners. Uh, you know, about uh, 16, 17 record labels, uh, um, you know, apart from the mainstream, very large companies like T-Series and, uh, you know, we represent uh, Yashraj uh, Films and, and their music for the international markets. Uh, we've taken, uh, you know, all from, from the time of uh, uh, Doom 2, uh, you know, most of their content onto digital platforms like Apple iTunes, MSN, etc. So, you know, and we are constantly evaluating new opportunities. So, on the one side, we take content from India and we export that into 32 countries wherein we have this digital distribution network. On the other side, you know, we open up avenues for uh, uh, brands into this market because, you know, we are the third largest mobile market in the world with 180 million consumers. Uh, and we are what is a little lesser known fact, uh, we are the fourth largest internet market in the world and by the end of this year we will eclipse Japan into becoming the third largest market. So I think there is tremendous opportunities on both these platforms and uh, uh, we, we're delighted to be representing a whole host of companies uh, in tapping this opportunity and, and uh, giving consumers around the world an experience uh, which they will cherish. Plans at this stage are largely centered around consolidation and scale. Uh, I think, uh, you know, in whichever way you look at it, uh, there is opportunity around uh, the digital and entertainment space as far as uh, the Indian market is concerned. And that's what we are all about. Uh, but equally, uh, we need to uh, consolidate what we are doing and we need to create scale in what we are doing. Uh, part of it is being done by the market itself. Uh, both the internet and mobile are growing at a furious pace and that is creating scale. Uh, so I think, you know, as a company, uh, you know, we are a 250 member uh, company right now. Uh, we have fairly large and ambitious uh, projects for our international markets. We've recently started up an office in New York, which will have about 20, 22 people based out of there. There is a comprehensive uh, triple play strategy that we are adopting for the North American market. Uh, which will be taking up some of our time. Uh, we've also set up something in Dubai and uh, uh, we, we've uh, set up an operation in Media City. Uh, we're doing some interesting work with the carriers in that region, uh, which is going to keep us one team uh, reasonably busy. Other than that, I mean, you know, just keep doing good work uh, here and, uh, uh, you know, sort of. Um, uh, capturing whatever opportunities that come our way. So, you know, no great uh, sort of grandiose plans. Uh, uh, having been from the dot-com bus days, uh, uh, I believe it's always nice to sort of, you know, uh, just be prudent, uh, uh, at the same time be aggressive with what we're doing. And I think that is something we have certainly demonstrated as a company. But uh, we'd like to keep our feet firmly to the ground and, you know, focused with the clients that we are working with and be fulfilling their needs and matching those with the consumers that we are addressing. You know, we are a consumer-facing company, so, you know, we'll continue to see how consumers keep on reacting to different formats of content and different engagement and be delivering experiences based on that.